Hi guys. Greetings from beautiful British Columbia and Triple Threat RC. I was just going to head out to the bench and uh, make up a dual outlet uh, XT60 connector for some of my FPV junk and uh, I just thought I'd uh, maybe do a video of it seeing as we're not doing any flying anyway so uh, and just to show you a little trick I learned from dissecting one of Hobby King's uh, XT60 parallel connectors. So what is a dual outlet connector? Well, it's exactly the same as a parallel connector, only completely different. All kidding aside, they are actually the same, except that we reverse the uh, connectors so that with a parallel connector where you have one female and two male connectors so that you can hook two batteries in parallel to one device, with a dual outlet connector, you've got one male and two females so that you can run two devices off one battery. These little connectors are a huge improvement over what they replace, which is the uh, standard parallel uh, harness that you see here. This is the one that uh, I made up, uh, which has the dual outlet feature. And here it is beside the uh, little connector. And uh, here's, I'm just showing you here the two different types, side-by-side -side, parallel and dual outlet. So when I moved all of the pieces together uh, in preparation for soldering them, I knew that this was less than ideal. All of the cups of the uh, connectors are facing down and uh, when you go to solder them, although you're going to have to fill all of these cups up with solder and it's going to take a lot more solder and probably make a bit more of a mess than you need to. So in the spirit of reverse engineering, which Hobby King never does of course, but I took the shrink wrap off their uh, parallel connector and uh, discovered a, a very handy little trick. So all they did is uh, uh, spin the connectors around 180 degrees so that uh, when you're soldering you're facing the, the bumps rather than the valleys. And this makes it very easy to lay in a bead of solder. So in preparation for soldering all you want to do is uh, find a way to keep them together so they don't fall apart while you're, uh, while you're soldering them. So in this case, I'm just using a little C-clamp, but um, on another one I did, I just used a couple of weights on either side just to hold it together so that it doesn't fall apart. And now it's just a matter of uh, working your magic with your soldering iron. And once you get the first side done, it's just a matter of flipping it over and doing it one more time. I probably don't need to say this, but just make sure that when you align these things uh, in preparation for soldering them that you've uh, got all of your polarities correct. So you want, uh, in this case, you want all of the positive sides up on all three connectors. And when you flip it over, you should see all three negatives. So why the heck would you want to do one of these uh, yourself rather than just buy one? Well, in the case of the dual outlet connector, Hobby King doesn't offer one yet. And in the case of the parallel connector, it could be that uh, they're back ordered or that uh, you don't want to just put in an order for one of these. It's just, uh, just as fast if you have the connectors to make one up yourself. Now all that's left to do is to put on a little bit of shrink wrap and it's all finished and uh, ready to use. Well, I hope you found this little uh, tip useful and that's something that you might want to do yourself one day. And if you ever have the need now to run, uh, instead of uh, making up a harness, you know that you can make one up without any wire. And you can see here how it's really tidied up the back of my uh, FPV tray so I can connect my monitor and my receiver and a nice tidy little bundle instead of having a rat's nest.
Well, thanks as always for watching and I'll, uh, well, hopefully we'll get some flying in soon and get some more videos up. So take care and bye-bye for now.